Hello everyone, it's Courtney and today I'm back with another exciting Plan With Me video. This week I'll be in collaboration with Ivy from Plan With Ivy. I reached out to her and asked if she'd like to do a collaboration and she said sure, so yes. Um, this is what her spread ended up looking like. I'll have her video linked in the description box down below. She uploads pre-plan with me videos while I do the plan as I go style. So I decided to plan the week before hers, just so my video doesn't go up a week after hers. She's planning this first week in March, but I'm planning the last week in February. I hope that makes any sort of sense at all, but yeah. She suggested that we do a rainbow theme, so that's exactly what we're doing. But weirdly, I'm going to be using a kit. <laughs> I don't know. I've never actually seen anyone you do a rainbow spread with a kit, but that's what I'll be doing. This one here is from Plan with Deanne. When I won this planner, I won a couple kits, and this is one of them here. On this page, there's washi strips, half boxes, and dots on the side. And then on this page, there are the full boxes and dots on the side. This kit is called, well, this is not a full kit. They're just a half boxes, washi, and the half boxes. Oh, goodness. Half boxes, washi, and the full boxes. This is only two pages of the Spectrum. Yes, I forgot the name of the kit. The Spectrum kit. And it's watercolor rainbow, and it's so, so pretty. So I'm excited to be using this kit. I have some other stickers that I plan to use. These weekly stickers from Luscious Fables that I use every week. I got these from my planner buddy Karina. I also have some weekend banners to use this week. I really hope they go with the kit. I somehow don't think they will. Just because they're so bright and these colors are just so watercolory and pastel. So I don't know if I'm going to be using these. I'm probably going to put on the weekend banner last. Just so I don't actually put it down before and then it's stuck there and stuff like that. So I'm maybe using those, maybe not. And then I'll be using these pencil stickers from Sassy Sticker Co. I know I always say that I have to buy some more, but I really do. So I need to make an order. I don't think with her because she doesn't make these anymore. Sadly. So I found another shop where I can buy these from and they're really inexpensive. So I'm excited to get some more of these stickers because I have like a week and like a couple days left. So yeah. They serve their purpose and I'm glad to get some more. So, um, yeah, without any further ramble rave, um, yeah. Oh, I also have to say that I'll have Ivy's Instagram, YouTube channel, and also her video linked in the description box down below. Definitely check it out and let her know Courtney sent you if I did. And if you're from Ivy's channel, hello, I'm Courtney, and I make Plan With Me videos. I make planner videos like sticker hauls. Um, what other videos do I do? Yeah, stickers, washi tape, and planners. That's what I like to do. And I hope you enjoy my channel, I hope you enjoy this plan with me video, and let's get started. I'm putting down this pink balloon bunch from Student Planning. I got that from a freebie that I ordered, well, I got that from a freebie when I ordered from her. I used that tomorrow that this video was a collaboration, and I put that in, in the thankful thoughts section. Then I put on this pink watercolor full box, that's from the kit, and I put down this habit tracker from Cricut Paper Co. That is from another kit that I got, that was like... That was this year, I believe, yeah. That was early this year. If you watched my haul, my first Etsy sticker haul, you would have seen that. But I just decided to do some sticker borrowing because why not? I then used a washi strip to mark that my Happy Meal was going in that section. And I actually forgot to put down my weekly stickers, but it couldn't fit anywhere and look right, so I just decided to leave it out. Then I decided to put down this um, checklist. This is from Cricut Paper Co. This is from the kit I used last week. Oh, by the way, that envelope sticker is from Belize Your Shop. The Cricut, Cricut Paper Co. checklist having seven checklists, and they also lined it with the lane, so that was perfect. I just rearranged some stuff here, just so it made sense. I have a package from Leah Bernard coming. I know that's always on my to-do list, but we actually figured out why it wasn't getting to me. So, we have that fit, so I should be getting it really soon. I also have my Pierre package from Suicide stickers coming, some school stickers from Katie Plans, which I actually got this week, some stickers from Peaceful Mind Design, a kit and some other functional stuff from Lexi, no, Simply Ginger Co, my Mr and Mrs Mint giveaway prize and a kit from Student Planning which she sent to me so kindly. Next I put down these two washi strips and I put a half box in between to mark my social media and that's it for my sidebar. Now I'm working on my actual week. I use these Little Things headers from Joyce Design. The red, orange, yellow and the two different shades of blue are all from the same sheet and the purple one is from a different sheet and the green is also from a different sheet. So I use red on Monday, 
orange on Tuesday and yellow on Wednesday. I use these school, not these school stickers, these like pencils from Student Planning to mark my school schedule along with these half boxes from the kit. They're so pretty, so I can't wait. To, well, I couldn't wait because I've already done it, but I couldn't wait to use these. So the way I do it, my Rainbow Weeks sidebar is always pink, Monday is red, Tuesday is orange, Wednesday is yellow, and it goes on like that. And I, I was really grateful that I used the half boxes to mark my school schedule, so that meant that I could actually write on the sticker before I put it down. Because usually my handwriting on Wednesday is so janked up, <laughs> it is horrible. So I'm really excited that I got to do this. Like I said, I put in the rest of the headers. On Thursday was green, on Friday was light blue, Saturday was dark blue, and Sunday was purple. This is the only this is the only pre-planning I could have done the Sunday night before. So I came back on Monday. Well, I came back every night after the day actually happened and I planned out that day. Well, back plan that day, I guess. So on Monday I put on this red dot sticker from the kit and used that to mark that it's so popcorn for graduation, like fundraising and stuff. Then I layered the washi strips on top of each other. I just tacked them up so they made a pretty design. And this washi tape, not the washi tape, but the the designs are in general. The watercolor is so gorgeous. She did a really good, a really good job with this. Deanne. I'll have her Instagram linked down below because she re she recently started about her Instagram, and I'm so excited. So yes, this art palette sticker is from Sassy Sticker Co. And I use that to mark that I worked on my art piece. I like to mark which art piece I work on which day, just in case in the art journal you need to put it in or something. I will have it in my planner. Cause for my geography SBA, I had to do that, and it really worked out so, because I put it in my planner. So. On Monday, continuing, I put down this three heart check, well, three box checklist from Joyce Design. I eventually pick it up because I didn't have three stuff to do, and a two checklist will look kind of weird. But I have put down a full box down at the bottom. I then put down this red laundry basket sticker from Lily Pink Prints and wrote thing that I had to put away the laundry. And I was deciding whether to use the darker red or the lighter red. These notebooks are from Lily Pink Prints, and I use that to mark that I read this book called Becoming Beautiful on Wattpad. My camera actually cut out there, so I'm sorry about that. But this label is from Student Planning. For lunch, I had rice and spring rolls. Weird combination, yeah. But I can't see what I have for dinner or lunch, and I forgot. So, yes. This study sticker is from Student Planning, and I used that to mark that I studied on Monday night. I then rearranged this whole section here, and I used that to mark what I was grateful for that day, and that was a planner community, so that was nice. I use these dots on my sidebar to mark that social media stuff and on Tuesday I ended up having that geography test so I took up that test sticker and put on this like sticker paper white out thing. I use this event label from Paisley Print School to mark that it has study hall on Tuesday and to mark that I did art during my study hall I use an art palette from Stassi Sticker Co again. I use this orange watercolor dot to mark that it's so popcorn for graduation again. And I stacked the watercolor washi strips on top of each other to mark that I went to lessons that day. I had ad math lessons, so I put on this calculator sticker from Planner Problem. That calculator is a printable, like a free printable that I shared in a, I shared that in a haul. That was last year though, so yes. I just wrote in the time and details and all that of that lessons. After lessons, I went with my aunt. She dropped me home. No, she collected me. And dropped me home too, but yeah. So I put on this orange dot. This part was kind of weird because I put on this flag appointment label to mark that we went to Sky Mall. And then I put on this full box. But I didn't like the full boxes next to each other on Monday and Tuesday. So I decided to put the, um, the Sky Mall like, event thing under the full box. So it wasn't chronological. But yeah, it was just a mess. <laughs> so yes, um, and then I put on this orange quarter box. At the bottom to mark that it was my friend Connor's birthday. Um, yeah, so I, this is where I do this is where I do my rearranging. 
so this part isn't chronological at all which is now that I'm thinking about it I don't like it but I prefer how it looks on that for what I put down this to do header I just cut it out into a flag which I think is so cute I saw um, Helen from the coffee monsters Co. doing that and I really liked it so I just cut a flag out of it and put it down on the full box and on that full box I did I did I marked that I did some homework so I put down a notebook sticker that is from Lily Pink Prints and this I just fill in some stuff on my sidebar on that habit tracker but yeah I marked that I did some homework and also with the flag the end of the flag I guess you would call it an arrow I use that to mark that I tried on my dress day outfit If you didn't if you didn't know I'm actually a vegetarian just in case you were wondering but then I moved on to Wednesday and I had I had but our school had student council speeches that day so I put down this great trophy sticker over the full box and wrote in those events so we had a student council speeches and that day was also African dress day so I put on this Egyptian looking giraffe it has like the Egyptian mask not the mask the headpiece I'm not sure what you call it so I feel kind of bad but yeah it was African dress day and that was really really fun I wrote it like down a hill so I wanted to cover it up but I wrote it too far apart so I couldn't cover it up but then I put on this dot from the kit and wrote that I sold popcorn again oh I didn't put na in brackets because I actually didn't sell popcorn because my popcorn machine dropped and broke so yeah that was kind of sad but I just put on that entire full box on Wednesday yeah that's what happened yeah um I then wrote in my lessons over the washi strips and I wrote it all on before I put it on the planner because like I said, Wednesdays always kill me and I went to mark that I had a YouTube binge. I wanted everything to fit on properly. So first I started by putting down that I had to, that I had to take out the garbage. I'm tripping over my words on this label from student planning. I just put that down at the bottom. Then I put down this, oh, I waited for the stuff to dry. And I put down the washi strips on top of each other, just stacking them to make sure that I had enough space to cover up the header and all that. And later in the day, I put down this like smartphone sticker from Old Soul Paper Co. over a label from Alibeth Designs UK. You all see that coming up in a couple of seconds. But yeah, I just use that to mark. Oh, and this pencil sticker too. This chunky pencil that is from Karina, who's my planner buddy. I use that to mark that I did some chemistry work that night. So yeah. I'm really sorry that this plan with me is so long, it's like 21 minutes. I even sped it up more than usual. I sped it up, I think it's 375% instead of 325, but it's still really long. But on Thursday, I put on this washi strip just to mark how much space I needed to like put in my other stickers. Both of these stickers here, the pencil and the art palette is from Sassy Sticker Co. Art from Sassy Sticker Co, yeah. I use a pencil to mark um, that we had election voting. They did, the, they did the speeches the Wednesday and then we voted the Thursday. So that was really fun. And the art palette is from my art piece, obviously. And they used the washi strips to mark that I had ad math lessons. I'm just realizing I did put the calculator sticker for that, but such is life. This green car sticker is from, no, green car sticker. It's from Sassy Sticker Co. I then put the full box under there, a green one. And after if you saw me no if you have me on instagram you know that i put a study sticker from student planning over that but yeah then i use this quarter box from student planning to mark something 
And you also would have seen that if you follow me on Instagram. Because I update my Instagram every night about like the planning stuff. So yes, and then I mark this. Well then I put down this green brush icon, like broom. Tomorrow that I had a quick tidy that evening, afternoon night. Friday was a really rough day for my school, like the entire school was just distraught, so we had no classes at all. So I just put on this blue sticker to mark that I brought home my popcorn machine just to like tell my mother that it was broken and stuff. And she took it away better than I expected. I was, ex I was extremely scared to tell her. But I, st I stacked these washi strips on the kit on top of each other and I put on this grocery cart sticker from Sim oh, Small Stuff Creations. She sent those to me to review. And I used that to mark that I went grocery shopping. I put down another dot to mark that my aunt carried me home. And I put down a full box, I believe. Did I put, oh no. At first, I had put down this envelope sticker because I got mail. Te okay, technically I got it that day, but it didn't get into my hands that day. So I just put down this full box from the kit. And underneath I put down a vacuum cleaner because the lady that comes to clean my house came that day. So I put that down. I had to rearrange some stuff because I tend to write off centered sometimes, so yeah. And what did I do after that? Oh, I took this light blue label from Student Planning and wrote down that it was another worse day than the day before, which was horrible. So yes, it's just not a good time for my school right now. But I just put down that label like on the on top of the last line and you can see where I'm putting it. I don't need to explain all this. But I don't think I'm going to track my meals anymore just because, I don't know. I don't really like doing it. On Saturday morning, I put on this like chef hat sticker to mark that I had a family breakfast. We always do on Saturdays, but I just decided to mark it because I didn't have a weekend banner. So that whole front section was kind of empty. So I had to fill it up. I, I, whew, I just stuttered so badly. I used that full box to mark that I went to church and that dot was to mark that it worked the easy worship thing. So like the PA system. And that half box is to mark that we had a church potluck and that was really, really fun. The washi strips were to mark my AY session and I should probably pause this and start back up. Sorry about that, but like, I film on my phone. My film. Yeah, I film and I edit too. And my, I, my phone is an iPhone 4, so it's kind of outdated, so the app kind of crashes sometimes. And I don't want to crash and lose my whole voiceover clip, so I just decided to like, I would do a part, then it was top, and then I start over and stuff like that. But anyways, I used the washi strips to mark that I had an AOI service in the orchard and it was so fun. That night I worked on my geography SBAs, everybody else went out but I stayed home and it was studious. <laughs> so I used this laptop from Planner Problem, lots of printable, and I used this to mark the weekend. Yeah, I used it to mark that I was like thankful for the weekend kinda. And I think this is where I put down that envelope sticker. Guess not, I filled in my meals, that's what I did. And yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be doing this every week anymore, I just don't like it anymore at all. I rearranged the laptop sticker because it was kind of top heavy, not really bottom heavy. Yeah. I put on this envelope from Belize Your Shop tomorrow that I got Happy Meal that day, but I collected it the next day. Because my Happy Meal always goes to my grandmother's house for some reason, it never comes to my house. So our houses are like eight apart, so I can easily get it quickly. But on Sunday, I used a dot to mark that the water went off. Yeah, and I use this half box to mark that we went to Agafest. Agafest is basically like an agricultural festival thing. And yeah, I use the washi strips to mark that I had to get ready because that afternoon I was doing a modeling thing for my my mother's friend. So I put that down. I also put down this, what do you call it? Car sticker, that's from Sassy Sticker Co. to mark that I went up with my mother's, she's a designer, and then the other models, and that was really good. And then put on the full box to mark that event because that took forever. We left up there so late and I got home like after 10. It was, whoo, it was really fun though. And I used another car sticker under that and a dot to mark call time after this. I actually forgot that I put down these quarter boxes at the end of every day, so I ended up writing down all of this, and then I remembered it here, and it was like crap. So I decided to put on this piece of sticker paper from the kit. I was very, very, um, what is the word? Innovative, yes. And I just covered that up, put that on the half box, not the half box, the quarter box, and it worked pretty well for me. 
So yes, I put on that car and wrote in. My thankful thought was for a great opportunities. So I filled in my meals and like I said before, I put on this dot sticker over that half box. Tomorrow that call time was 2.30. We ended up getting there at like, like four maybe. So that was kind of irrelevant, but that's okay. Um, yes, moving back over to my sidebar, I wrote in that my Instagram following was 834 followers and my YouTube subscriber count was 144. This is the end complete spread. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Ivy's channel and her video. I'll have a link down below. Let her know that I sent you. And yes, remember, subscribe. And thank, for all, thank you so much for all of your support. And yeah, I'll be back pretty soon with another video. Bye.